The Heartland Mushers Association and the Elkhart County Parks partner up for a Mushing 101 class. The event was from 1 to 4 in the afternoon at the Benton Dam River Preserve Park. Felicia Joswiak, interpreter naturalist of Elkhart County Parks, helped to organize the event. Do you want to tell us um, a little bit about the event and like what's going on here? Yeah, sure. So we're at River Preserve County Park um, with the Mushing 101 class. Keith, one of the members of Heartland Mushers, uh, lives about two miles from the park, so um, he comes out here to run his dogs quite a bit. He reached out to us last year about hosting an event. It went really well, so we decided to do it again this year. We got like twice as many dogs, if you can't tell. <laughs> it's a little loud. Um, but yeah, it's a nice day. Uh, we focus on dry land mushing, so it's pretty cool to have people learn a little bit more about that because a lot of people thought, oh, the snow, like we're going to come out and do sleds. But actually, um, if you look around, it's a lot of running and a lot of bikes. <laughs> Valerie Shipley and her dog Nikita were first-time mushers and were still learning the intricacies of harness attachment. I want to explain a little bit about the, uh, the harness that is on the dog. You said that it wasn't quite, looks, it looks from the tag here, it says it's an extra, extra large, but it still doesn't fit the, fit him, so. He's a big boy, he's a really big boy, and um, it's an X-back, double X harness, and I believe it should be down here a little bit, but he's got a little bit of a, chest there. <laughs> Keith Miller, member of the Heartland Mushers Association, said that the event was relatively new. This, on, this is the second year to do it and uh, we have I think 20 people registered this year plus a few others that showed up so mm -hmm. and then the ones of us, some of us were here running this morning and playing for ourselves too but it's a nice thing that we have here at this uh, park here in Elkhart County. It's one of the things, one of the few parks in the state of Indiana where we can run dogs and we really appreciate that the park department allows us to do that. This is Nathan Pauls with Mary for Globe News.